Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this problem without a calculator. So, as you can see, we have the square root of 600 times 601 times 602 times 603 plus 1. And if you notice, this is a consecutive set of numbers. We have 600, 600 plus 1 is 601, 601 plus 1 is 602, and 602 plus 1 is 603. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set 600 equal to x. So I'm going to set 600 equal to x. So 600 equals x. And this means that 601 is equal to x plus 1, 602 is equal to x plus 2, and 603 is equal to x plus 3. So now we have the simplified form of this, x times x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 and we have our plus one at the end. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply x plus one with x plus two. So if we multiply these two, we would get x squared plus 3x plus 2. So this is what we get if we multiply these two. And we're also going to multiply x and x plus 3. So x times x plus 3, well, x times x is x squared, and x times 3 is 3x. So we have x squared plus 3x. And this is going to be in parentheses, and we obviously have our plus 1 at the end. Now, this can also be changed to x squared plus 3x in parentheses plus 2 on the outside. times x squared plus 3x plus 1. So now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this 2 with our x squared plus 3x. So this equals x squared plus 3x whole squared, because remember, these two multiply. And we add this with 2 times x squared plus 3x. And we still have our plus 1. So what we did was we multiplied what was in these brackets with everything outside. So now that we have this, well, let's say that u, right, u is equal to x squared plus 3x then this would turn into u squared plus 2u plus 1. And this is equal to u plus 1 squared, right? This is equal to u plus 1 squared. So now, because we already know that u is equal to x squared plus 3x, well, let's fill in x squared plus 3x for u. So this would result in x squared 
plus 3x plus 1 squared. So now, as we know, x is equal to 600, right? So now if we fill in 600 for x, well, first we know that all of this is, we're finding the square root of all this, right? But then that would just cancel out this exponent here. So this would just equal x squared plus 3x plus 1. And now we can substitute 600 for x. So this would equal 600 squared plus 3 times 600 plus 1. Now, 600 squared, this is 36 with four zeros. So 360,000. Plus three times 600 is 1,800. And we still have our plus one. And this equals, well, 30, 360,000 plus 1,800 is 361,800, but, and if we add our one, we get three, 361,801. So this would be our final answer. And we didn't even use a calculator to solve this. Thank you.